Hey guys, we're here, and welcome to this new, new series I'm going to try and do every week. Hopefully. Promise. Don't hold me to this. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be what, the primary review. Until I come up with a better name for it, if I even do, uh, it'll be called the primary review. Pretty much, it's me reviewing the results. Of the Premiership, so the Premiership is back. It um, it came back with. Well, it started with a, a meh, then it was, mm, then, huh, then yeah, and then, uh. So let's go over the results. The first game was. Manchester United and Spurs. Now, I didn't see a match, but it was 1-0 to Manchester United with a Kyle Walker on goal. Um, I don't know how... Obviously, I... I expected my United to win. I think, uh, I think pretty much everyone was saying you and I are probably going to win this match. Even Spurs fans don't really have high confidence when they play Man United. I happen to know a Spurs fan. And uh, let's just say Man United is one of the games he does not look forward to every year. Her. 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 Um, from what I heard, uh, Romero actually made a few good saves. So maybe he wasn't that bad of a signing. Um... But uh, it, is it a worrying thing for my eyes that they're, that the only goal was scored by it was an own goal? Is that worrying for my eyes? I don't think so. I personally think they'll show their worth um, in the, in their next game next weekend. I think uh, it'll be. I think this is the season where Wayne Rooney can really show that he is still the best striker that Man United have and, and bang in their goals like he did before Van Persie showed up. So uh, let's move on to the he, he results from on Saturday, he he's starting with Aston Villa and Bournemouth. Now this was a lot closer than a lot of people were expecting. A lot of people were thinking oh, Villa should easily beat Bournemouth, but no, it was actually very close. Very a good performance if you are Bournemouth or you support Bournemouth. Of of the fact that they only lost one nil. And the the goal came really kind of late in the game, is a good sign. If you're Bournemouth, you know you're not conceding two or three goals in the first game. In the goal didn't come until seventy second minute from Villa's new sign, Gustad or Gustid. I'm sorry if I say his name wrong. Um, but. Yeah, Bournemouth should take a bit of positive away from that, that they weren't absolutely trashed on the day match, because that's happened to a few teams, and, you know, they just never get off the mark, and yeah, it's just, they just, you know, it, it, it happens, you know, they, they fall. Oh. And from one, from a, Team to the to another, uh, we go to busy side where Everton hosted Watford, who were actually the only of the three promoted teams to get a point from the opening game as they drew two to Everton. And I was actually expecting Everton to win this match. I'm not gonna lie, I am down to win three one in in the uh, Super Six, so. Bit pissed off with those blue who 
jackasses for not scoring. But I'm proud of Watford for not up there. Now they obviously he he felt all they needed to prove a point, and well, they got their point. <laughs> That's obviously not what they were intended to. Well, obviously, a point is better than nothing when you consider Bournemouth and Norwich both lost. Um, spoilers if you somehow didn't already know that. Uh, next, we go to. I don't, I don't know if it's a surprise. Maybe the scoreline is a surprise. It's the highest scoring match of the Premier League's weekend. And it was Leicester and Sunderland. If you told me they would have the game with the most goals this weekend, I would have told you who, what kind of drugs I you on. But yeah, they did. They had a six-goal game with Leicester winning 4-2. So maybe Leicester without Nigel Pearson isn't going to be that bad, you know? They were. They didn't seem too bothered by his absence. They were. were three nothing up by half time, and it was. It only took six minutes after Jermaine Defoe pulled one back for Sunland before it was four one. Hmm. Really, the second goal from a, for, for Stephen Fletcher for, for uh, Sunland. It was really a consolation, because Leicester pretty much had the match won by then. So, I don't know if Leicester are still using their ostrich tactics, but um, whatever they're doing, it obviously worked against Sunderland. So, if they keep that up, they won't have to worry about not having Nigel Pearson around anymore. Next, we go to... Who Norwich City? He has a he he were playing their first Premier League game back after the promotion. They were home to Crystal Palace. Unfortunately, they didn't have a good return to the Barclays Premier League. Three, he won loss to who Alan Pardew's Palace side. Um, bit disappointing when you can. Uh, by the time they scored with Redmond in the 69th minute, they were already 2 nothing down through goals from Zaha and Delaney. And Johan Kabai, he added the... the insult to injury in injury time in, in the 94th minute. So a uh, bit of a dick move there. Or by pass, they had the match won, and they just felt like adding another one, really. And then we go to what was the surprise result of until what happened on Sunday. I'll get to that in a minute. But Chelsea 2, Swansea 2. And really, Chelsea should have lost this match. Uh, Chelsea fans, you can comment all you like. It's true. You should have lost this match. It, you can say whatever you like. You should have lost it. it Swansea will far better the team. Yeah. If Baffert, if Gomez, he actually learned how to play football, Swansea would have walked away with all three points. So, there's a lesson there. Um, don't play Gomez anymore this season, Swansea, and you'll be yeah, okay. He hell, you almost you were beating Chelsea if you brought Ed there on, or just started him, because he would have put that away. Oh, Seriously, Gomez hit it straight at Terry. I mean, you know, he pretty much had the goal at his mercy, and he decided, oh, I'll kick it at Terry because that makes perfect sense. Yes. <laughs> Swansea seem to get get all sorts of bad luck because the own goal oh, it was a really stupid looking own goal well pretty much William hit it off uh, Fernandez and it flew into the net somehow it was like that defies all laws of 
logic, the keepers are like, wait, what the fuck has happened? Then they got the penalty. He went cold to was sent off. Um, I've absolutely no idea what he was doing. Um, that's, that's a really random mistake from the, the second best keeper in the world to make. He can obviously Gomez somehow didn't miss that penalty. I was kind of saying to myself, you freaking missed this. But no, he uh, he sent Asmir Begovic the wrong way and uh, he didn't exactly have it, the best debut. He was kind of shaky in goal, which was a real surprise. You know, the corners that were coming in, in um, from, I think it was John Joe Shelby? Was it John Joe Shelby? I think it was John Joe Shelby. Yeah, it was John Joe Shelby. Yeah, I think. No, it couldn't have been Charlie Adam. He's, he played for stuck. Yeah, I think it was John Joe Shelby. His corners were coming in and it looked like they were. he was trying to score. And maybe it seemed to struggle with them. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, goalkeepers aren't expecting shots to come in from corners. It's not directly. But still, it looked like he was not comfortable at all. Obviously, he didn't expect Kotoa to go and, oh, and do that. Uh, now Kotoa is going to miss three games. Kind of bummed. We don't have Liverpool. Don't have Chelsea coming up in the next three games because playing them without Kotoa would be a lot easier than playing them with Kotoa unless he does that again. Which, if he does. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Mourinho sold him. Freaking, we you know Mourinho. He he does not put up with anything. But yeah, Swansea should have won this match, and I don't care what anybody says. That's the truth. And you know you can you can bash the keyboard away. He he's saying I'm wrong, but I'm right. I am. But luckily for Chelsea, something happened. And yesterday, that, that kind of, uh, it says, hey, hey, Chelsea made a draw on a match they clearly should have lost, but here's the silver line for Chelsea. Hey, their neighbours not far away, hey, who play at the Emirates Stadium and wear red shirts, you know, might know them, they're called the Gunners. Name's Arsenal, well, Gunners is just a nickname. They were playing, um, West Ham, you know that team who play in like purplish carrot and blue apparently it's called. Even though it's not blue. Um it's purple. Same colour as Aston Villa. Whatever. You know, th those team that team that pretty much is is considered one of the lower teams in the league. You, you, you know, they they went to to Emirates and um oh yeah they beat Arsenal two 0 I was like wait what <laughs> I did not really... and I could not believe this happened I was like wow one question um did Arsenal sign Pelicek or did they accidentally sign Pepe Reina I mean like. No offense to West Ham, you know, you deserve your 2 0 win and enjoy it. It will probably be a, be a long time before you put, beat Arsenal or 2 0 again. But uh, yeah, Pellet Czech did not have a good debut. Ooh. When it was uh, goals from Coyote and Zarate, he. he the two two players signed last yeah no not last year not season before before last season by uh, Harry Redner. Zarate so went out on loan during last season to QPR uh, and in his first game official game back in a West Hampshire he would he scores the second goal on the win against Arsenal. So I think it's safe to say we won't be seeing Zarate go back out on loan. <laughs> and then we go to 
to St. James's Park when Newcastle will play in Southampton. And Newcastle were really unlucky here because Southampton got a late goal to get that point as the match ended 2 2. Yes, Southampton go, did go ahead through Pele in the 24th minute, but thanks to Cisse, that quickly changed just before half time and just after half time was. Well, in fact, Newcastle scored three minutes before half time and three minutes after it. And it was the new signing, Johnny. Georgie, no one. Naldum, I think I said that name in close to right, so I'm going to take it. With his first goal, when luckily for, for Newcastle, who Irish man and Shane Long scored in the 79th minute to take goal three, to take Newcastle's three points away. Bit of a bummer, but Southampton, obviously not bad. Not, not a bad start, but not a good start when you consider they were set into last season. You know, could have easily passed Liverpool on the last day. They didn't lose the last game, considering Liverpool will be in 6 1. But Liverpool, very. He, he's done. He erased that, didn't they? He threw a little man. In, the magician that is Philip Coutinho. I'm sorry. Can somebody get the Brazilian manager's brain checked? Because he didn't think Coutinho belonged in the Brazilian team that went to the World Cup. And how did they get on against Germany? They pretty much had this. They pretty much had the Stoke equivalent of German. Pretty much, it was. Like Germany and Stoke were on the same wavelength. Hint. Germany did it to Brazil and Stoke did it to us. Yes. Yes. We turned it around. Where's your turn around, Brazil? Huh? 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 Don't give me that. We haven't got the chance to play Germany. Schedule a friendly with them. Let's see how you freaking get on. But yeah, see, he, Germany manager, see what happened. I mean, not the Germany manager. I'm sure the Germany manager would have brought Coutinho. Oh, if Coutinho was German. Yeah. And it, and it was a screamer as well. I was not expecting him to score from there if I'm going to be 100% honest. I was. I was kind of taken aback by it. I was like, why is he shooting from that? Oh! <laughs> that was pretty much my reaction to that goal. Oh, I was uh, not really expecting it. And finally, we come to the Hawthorns, where we had the game with the Monday football first of the season just finished. Where Man City beat West Brom at Chavian 3 0. And I actually, he said it to a friend earlier that C would win 3 0. But I got the scorers wrong. I said, I actually said Sergio Aguero would get two goals and then the third goal would be an own goal. Well, but no, it was actually Yaya Torre getting the brace. So maybe he's back to the form that disappeared last season after his great season maybe that great see maybe Yaya Torres in store for another a world being season and Vincent Company he showed why he's one of the best defenders in the world well considered to be one of the best defenders in the world world, world by adding City's third and Aguero didn't play which is kind of confusing to me. I'm not sure why he didn't play. I'm assuming he'll be. Um, maybe he's. Maybe it's just you know to give him a bit of a break after the Copa America. But then I thought 
Coutinho was at the Copa America and he played every single minute in Stoke. So I uh, I can't be that. Maybe it's maybe Aguero hasn't fully recovered from his injuries of last season. I mean that's why Sturridge uh, wasn't playing. He was back in training, but he hadn't fully recovered yet. He might be able to play against Bournemouth. I wouldn't risk him. I'd say leave him out of the squad for Bournemouth and then play him against um play him against Arsenal if he if he's fit to go against Arsenal. If not, it'll be worth the wait if you know if he scores anywhere near the goals that he did before. But yeah, just by getting the the um the score is wrong, I was pretty impressed with myself getting the the score line right. Um not sure why Nazri didn't play. Um is Nazri in chance? I mean, I know he was on the bench, but that's where Raheem Sterling should have been. I mean, maybe maybe this is Pellegrini he responding to everyone on the internet and saying, Ah, Sterling's just gonna sit on the bench. Instead he's dropped freaking in Nazari who's probably sitting there like, What did I do? What did I do? Why am I sitting on the bench? This little prick should be sitting on the bench. I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> oh Nazari. Nazari, we feel your pain, friend. Feel your pain. But yeah, Man City are top. Um So uh yeah. The Manchester Clubs Oops. It's a, it's a good start to the season if you're from Manchester. Not so good if you're from London. And, and pretty good if you're the supporter of the Reds. It's bad if you support the Gunners. It's, it's, it's disappointing if you support Chelsea. It'd be great if you support West Ham. And, and, and if you support any of the promoted teams, teams It'll probably get better. Her, 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 her. Especially if you're Norwich. Look on the bright side. The Canary fans, Luis Suarez isn't around to bully you anymore. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Except losing 3 1 to Crystal Palace. But luckily, you only have to play that one more time. So. And. The next one will be at their ground. Um, luckily, it won't be for a while, <laughs> unless you get them in the cup. So I uh, hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, this has been the Premier League review. The Premier League is back. Good start. Can it continue? What will be the scores next week? Who will impress next week? Can Arsenal bounce back? Can Chelsea? He bounced back. Can Man United score a goal that's not that scored by one of their players? Is, is, can Ryan Sterling play two games in a row? All these questions will be answered next Monday night. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It, the premise back, boys. He's hell yeah.